Hello everyone, I'm Bets Golden here with Reading of Wallpaper. Today I wanted to show you how to create a card like this. And I'm going to be using a couple different techniques on this. But before I do, I just want to mention the little butterfly. This butterfly I made on the channel last month in April. So if you're curious on how to create a butterfly like this using a delicate dye, please make sure you go check that video out. All right, so to start this card, you're going to need an embossing folder. And I'm not necessarily showing you how to create this specific card. I'm more so showing you how you can use this in card making and how the Rinia foil paper plays well with other papers and how you can do some same or similar techniques with this paper. The embossing folder that I used is by Darius. I think that's how you say it. And it's just these gorgeous butterflies. And I ran it through with two. I always like to run my foil paper to, through with two sheets together because it tends to just make a beautiful image on both sheets and it doesn't it just, it's like a crisper image, I guess is what I'm looking for. You can do one, but I like two. And why not do two? I mean, it's the same amount of work, right? So once you get your piece of paper, you're going to use stays on ink because this ink is permanent. It does dry a little bit slower because this is a slicker surface, but once it's dry, it is dry and it is on for good. You could also use a ghost ink on this image and remove some of that beautiful um, foil paper color, but I want to actually add some color. So I'm going to use Midnight Blue, and I'm just going to lightly rub it across the image like so to really bring out that embossed image. And then I also will run it kind of on the sides like so as well. Once you get that done, you're just going to take a card base and I cut my card base from a beautiful lavender and you're going to use a tape roller. And I like to use my tape runner on the cardstock itself because I've discovered that since I've just embossed my Rhenia foil paper, if I run it on my Rhenia foil paper, it can actually, it's been beat up pretty good and you know, it might tear in spots depending on how much I've done to it. So I just like to put it on my base. And then from there, you're just going to set it out. And remember, your ink is still wet because this is a slick surface. And then you're going to take a sentiment, and I just did a sentiment um, from another stamp set, from, I think it was Stampin' Up, and then I backed it on some silver regular paper. And the key when you're using Rhenia foil paper, I think, is a lot of people feel like it gets overwhelming with it in that it's so much shine that it's just overwhelming and so they back away. What I say is just use it in place of things, but also make sure you use some regular cardstock to kind of ground it. And we'll put our sentiment on up here. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Rhenea foil paper that's been shredded and make kind of a little pile for my butterfly to sit on. And to do so, I'm just going to use some multi-grip glue by Beacon. And this doesn't take much. So you just stuff it on right there, like so. And then from there, we're gonna add our butterfly. And this is the butterfly I'm adding. And again, I just take some beacon and boom, there we go. It's important that you work with your card base open and flat, otherwise you can get crooked, um, crooked alignment because there's a bounce, there's like a spring. So 
This is how you can create, one way you can use the foil paper in your crafting is just use it in place of a regular piece of cardstock and you can emboss on it and run some ink over it and you end up with a beautiful card. Please make sure you check out my link below to visit the Renia store for your foil paper. Also, please check out my YouTube, I'm Bets Golden, as well as my blog, which you can find www.betsgolden.com. And also check out Instagram as well. And make sure you follow um, Renia Foil Paper on Instagram too. All right, until next time, happy crafting.